Today we're making cinnamon raisin bread. You're going to add a cup of warm milk. Warm it up a little bit in the microwave and throw it in there. Then you want uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. And we need some sugar. So because this is a cinnamon raisin bread, we want a, a little bit sweeter. So we'll have two tablespoons of sugar. And salt. Don't come after me. I ran out of salt. I had to steal it from my salt shaker. <laughs> so it was a, a three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And I had to use two different size uh, of my teaspoons because I don't have a three quarter size. So that's what we did there. And now your cinnamon. It called for three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. However, um, I would add uh, considerably more just because I like lots of cinnamon. So if you aren't into all of that cinnamon, follow the recipe. And then we add our flour. Now I started using all-purpose flour about uh, two loaves ago. Uh, and that is because I prefer the texture of the all-purpose flour to the bread machine flour. And that's what I started um, started using that. You'll find there's a difference between the Canadian flour and American flour. The Canadian flour has more protein than the gluten. So it's uh, very similar to the bread machine flour. So it's your choice, which, whichever you prefer to use. Uh, and that was three cups of flour in that. And now we're going to add our yeast, which was two teaspoons. And then uh, the raisins, which we don't put in right away. We save the raisins until the machine beeps at us and tells us it's time. And this is the actual recipe and the recipe book that I use for this particular bread. Here we go. It smelled absolutely amazing. And I cooked it on the, um, it was the one and a half pound size and I wanted the light crust because I prefer a light crust. I don't like the crunchy, hard, dark crusts. Well, I can tell you that um, after I sliced this, my husband and I ate probably half of this loaf because it was so good. And the next morning, so this morning when uh, I cut it and put it in the toaster, it was absolutely delicious. So uh, definitely would do this recipe again. The only changes I would make, like I said before, would be to add more cinnamon and a little bit more sugar just to make it more of a breakfast bread. 